Can the Scots go back to back? Can France respond to the defeat in Marseille? The forwards coach, William Servat, says the French are bitter and resentful. But let's see what bitter and resentful looks like. Okay. You can hear through the ref like the smash, smash call. He's Scotland looking after to go after line speed and try and put pressure on this French attack. Luku taken by Finn Russell finds the man on debut, Harry Patterson. Luku had the highest hang time or longest hang time in round one, four and a half seconds last week. Which of course helps to make the ball contestable for those running on to it, more difficult for defenders. Just last feed, okay, last feed. Use it, please. Ben White plays his rugby these days in France in Toulon. Pick up by Dorge, looking full of energy. Hasn't played since the end of December, but straight back into this Scottish side. Here's Ben White, now Finn Russell. Sioni to a Palo to Han van der Merwe. Harry Patterson has support outside. Looks inside, brilliant. Brilliant, sensational, top class, top drawer, diamond stunning rugby from Scotland. And it's Ben White who's on the end of it. And how often do you see Ben White in those positions for Scotland? He adds to his try tally. But sumptuous stuff from the Scots. 58 from 69 was his return. Normally metronomic. And at last, a line out for the French. Cameron Walkie takes it well. He is uh, supreme in that position. Here is Jalibert. Now it's Gail Ficker. Oh, Ficker is clean through. Gail Ficker, he's got so much pace. Scotland just get there in time. And do have one of them. Good. He's away from Scotland. They needed that to stay in play. Incredible statistic from the game in Cardiff. This obviously a Scottish penalty, but Scotland conceded 14 successive penalties, 16 in all, while losers Wales only conceded four and none in the second half. He was the captain last week. He's co-captain this week with Rory Darge. He's won from two from two as captain of the Scotland side, and he's yet to miss a kick in the 2024 Guinness Six Nations. It's there for Luku, it's there for Antonio. Quick hands from the tight head. Trying to open up this Scotland defence. There's a chance now wide. And it's going to be a walk-in for Gail Vicker. Scotland scrum half, one Ben one White, but it's their number 10, the Bath number 10 these days. Sure. Finn Russell okay. looking to continue his 100% record in the Six Nations this year. If unless he moves himself for five metres is making it incredibly Bounce. difficult to, for the referees and for the players themselves. Fine. Rugby's a great game and this is a, a, a great championship, the greatest rugby championship international level in the world against Six Nations, but the game can become inert when that tactic arises. Lugarek, slightly quicker ball, Biel, Biale, is this the chance for France, Biel? Somehow, despite absorbing all the pressure, despite making all those mistakes, despite losing the kicking game, they're on the verge of taking the lead. Reliable Ramos, reliable again. Big, strong, powerful man. Was on early for Richie Gray. Look at the defence again. Look how fast they are up. Causing pressure, but then maybe through the gap. And it's Kyle Rowe, Kyle Rowe dancing, diving, jinking. He's knocked it on. Oh, he's knocked it on. Exploding. The question asked, there needs to be clear oh. evidence. No, that ball's down. Say, then, no sides held up. It's a massively controversial ending to the game. Nick Berry was right on the cusp of changing his decision 
it did look from those angles as if the ball had rubbed off the leg of the French defender onto the turf. It did look as if the French attack had finally pierced the armour of that French defence. But Brian McNeese, the TMO, 